so lab eight is Archimedes principle. The first thing I want to review is uh, density, because we're going to need it. So what's the definition of density, anyone remember? So the symbol for density is rho, at least the symbol I'm going to use. And rho is equal to, yeah, mass over volume, good job. So it's the mass per unit volume. That's what we're going to call density. And then the other thing we need to know is pressure. Pressure I'm going to use a big P for. And what is the definition of pressure? Anybody know this one? If you're, if you're, if there's a lot of pressure on something, what's that associated with? Force, force, not per volume, force per area, force per unit area. Close. All right, so now I'm going to draw, this is a beaker full of water. That's the water line. And I'm going to put an object inside of it. It's going to be cylindrical in shape because I like cylinders. All right, now I want to identify all the forces on this object. So what are some forces that are acting on this object? Yeah, the weight, force of gravity. So I'll call F sub G, which is equal to MG, where this mass is the mass of the cylinder. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. What other forces are acting on this object? So if, if it's not sinking, if it's sort of just sitting there, what, what do we know about the sum of the forces? Yeah, they must cancel, otherwise it would be accelerating. So there has to be an upward force pushing back up on this guy, some force that I'm going to label with a sub capital B. And that's called the buoyant force. All right, and the buoyant force is equal to the density of the liquid times the volume of the liquid times G. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, one thing I want to um, emphasize is that this is the liquid mass and the liquid's volume. It's not the mass or the density of the object. Right. And this volume is the volume that this object displaces. So it's, in this case, it's the whole volume of the cylinder. And so this is similar to F equals mg, where I have used the fact that M is equal to rho V, right? So if you plug in rho V here, that's where that comes from. Right, I'm going to put mass of liquid, not cylinder. All right, so now I'm going to draw a similar situation. So here's a cylinder. It's sort of partially submerged, so it's only like halfway in the water. And then it's, be, it's being held out of the water by a string that happens to be attached to a force sensor. So let's identify, I guess I don't need it to be this deep, yeah? I guess it doesn't matter. 
So what forces are acting on this guy? All right, good. So there's a string now, so there's a, there's a tension force. What else? Hmm? Gravity is still acting on it. Force of gravity, which is mg. Anything else? The buoyant force, yeah. So there's still some buoyant force because it's s partially submerged in the water. F sub b. All right, what's the buoyant force for this situation? Well, he's, he's pointing up here, yeah. So it's the density of the liquid. And I'm going to emphasize this again. It's the density of the liquid, not the density of the object. And the volume, right? But is it the volume of the whole object? No, it's only the volume of the liquid that this object displaced. So if I call the this y this depth here, I could write it as the area of the cylinder times y and then times g. All right, so that brings me to my definition of Archimedes' principle. Archimedes was, um, he was like a Syracuse guy way back in the day. He said the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. All right, so that's what's emphasized here is that the buoyant force is the density of the fluid, which is the mass times the volume, times the volume that is displaced. So you only use the displaced volume. Any questions? All right, so once we identify all the forces, what do we usually do next? Yeah, so they, we sum them up. So we have what? Uh, the sum of the forces in this case equals what? Well, equals MA. Is it moving? No. Right, so we got tension. We got the buoyant force minus force of gravity all equals zero. All right, I'm going to solve it for the tension. And I'm going to plug in what these guys are. So the tension is equal to um, minus FC plus FD. All right, let's go over here. What is this guy? this guy here, so I'm going to plug it in. It's minus rho of the liquid times A. I'm going to move the G over here and the Y over here, um, plus MG. All right, so as we increase the depth, as we drop the cylinder deeper and deeper into the water, what do we expect to, the to happen to the tension of the string? It decreases. Why does it decrease? 
because the buoyant force increased, right? The buoyant force is increasing. So the, as, as the buoyant force takes more and more of the mg, the tension takes less and less because they have to sum to, ze to zero. So if I plot this, plot it over here, tension versus depth y, what will it look like? What happens when y is zero? What happens to the tension? It's mg, it's somewhere up here at mg. And then as y increases, what happens? It goes down, right? Linearly. What's the slope of this line? It's related to the density. So if I write this as y, <laughs> I used y over here, so it's kind of confusing, but y equals mx plus b, where this y and this y are not the same y. I'm just writing the equation of a line. This t is the y. Then the slope m is equal to minus rho l a g y. Oh, no y, because y is my x now. All right, so you can, you can dip your cylinder in the water and then measure the tension, because that's what this force sensor is actually measuring, is the tension and the strain. You can make this plot, find the slope, set the slope equal to minus rho ag, and you can solve for the density. So you can determine the density of the liquid, which in this case will be water or alcohol. And alcohol less dense than water. All right. Does anybody know the density of water off the top of their head? Is it in the manual? Thousand kilograms per meter cubed. All right, so that's what you should get this is the accepted value. So you compare it, do a percent error. All right, so just to demo it real quick. Mm -hmm. 